Time to meet another comic who's being featured at the Pittsburgh Improv. Brad Williams started doing stand-up comedy as a teenager and has been entertaining people ever since. And we are thrilled to welcome him to the show this morning. You already had us laughing. Yeah, well, I mean, it's kind of hard not to laugh when you, your mornings are spent with a little person. You know, dwarves are pretty much a human punchline as it is. We're kind of, you know, it's funny. It's fun. like people are like, oh, I'm, 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 you, if you come to my shows this weekend, you will see a dwarf tell you jokes. That's not a night out. That's a NyQuil dream. <laughs> You're just... Yeah, you're having fun, and I, and I love being here in Pittsburgh. I'm glad I'm out of Los Angeles. Some people are like, oh, it's too cold for you. It's like, yeah, it is, but I, I, I like being in a town that embraces carbs. Like, I come from Hollywood where if you... We do. Yeah, if you throw a French fry in the middle of a Whole Foods, everyone jumps like it's a live grenade. <laughs> They're jumping out of the way. No, We give, put them on sandwiches. You put them on salad. My and opener salad, last right? night got a salad and it came with french fries. I love you, Pittsburgh. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad I'm here when the snow's not really happening too much. The uh, weather guy said it was going to be a, a, a little bit next week. Oh, yeah, I'm listening. I pay attention to weather because people <laughs> like, because I, I, I go to some cities. I was in Buffalo for New Year's and they're like, oh, it's just a foot and a half of snow today. I'm like, I am four feet tall. That's. <laughs> different for me than it is for you. You trip fall in a foot and a half of snow, you're like, oh, my knee got wet. It's winter time. It's fun. I trip and fall in a foot and a half of snow, I die. I was at, I, I was at the store before I, I went out that night and I got a snorkel. Just because in case I trip and fall, I want to be able to live. So if you're in Pittsburgh, you see a snorkel popping out of the snow, start digging. I have precious moments. I don't even know how to follow up with that. You don't. Just let me go. It's fine. I understand uh, this. No, uh, that, that, that's why I love doing shows because now everyone, we're, we're, we're in a time where everyone's yeah. like, oh, the country's divided. The country's divided. It's like, yeah, on certain things, yeah. But everyone, in, in the front row of my show last night, there, there, there was men, there was women, there was black, there was white, there, 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 there was red state, blue state, and they were all looking at the stage going, midgets are funny. Because no one's, no one's anti-dwarf. No one's out in front of my show protesting like, these midgets are coming into our country. They're taking our jabs. We got to build the curb higher. Like, <laughs> the curb. That's, that's not an issue with me. I'm just happiness all around. Dwarves are human bacon. Everyone loves us. <laughs> Well, I was going to ask you um, what your inspiration for your comedy is, but I think I'm getting it. Uh, well, it's kind of hard not to have comedy in your life when, 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 you, when you look a little different. People say, oh, how do you write your jokes? It's pretty easy. Step one, be a dwarf. Step two, wait. And that's it. <laughs> Just a funny moment will happen to you. Look how cute I look in the little tie. I mean, that's how you, that, that's how, that's how you know I've made it in this world when I, when I actually look halfway decent. Because it's, it's, it's really hard when you start off when you're poor trying to pick up women with Bob the Builder on your T-shirt. Like, that's, it's not easy to look good. So uh, that, that's how you know I've made it. All right, so I'm assuming, you know, you're, you're funny all your mm -hmm. life. You're a teenager. You're making all your friends laugh. Yeah. So when do you first, like, get on stage and decide that you're you're actually going to try and make strangers laugh. Uh, it wasn't even my choice. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was in the audience of a comedy show, and the comedian was on stage, and he started making midget jokes, and half the audience was laughing, and half those sitting by me was like, hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and the comedian called me up on stage, and he's like, what? he said, what, is one of them here? And he called me up, and uh, he asked me some questions, and my answers got laughs. And that was it. I was like, I'm in. I, I, I want to be a stand-up comic. I wasn't even trying to be funny. He just asked what I did for a living. And at the time, I was working at Disneyland. And that's just, yeah, of course, of course I was. <laughs> of course I was working at Disneyland. No, I was not one of the seven. Prince Charming? Okay? Prince no. Charming? Uh, obviously. Uh, no, I'm a married man now. I can't, I, I can't do that. I got one. Ha! I got a tall woman, too. That's how you know I'm funny and rich. I got a tall one. That's right. I got one of yours. <laughs> so you get more laughs than the comic and the rest is history. Yeah, there. <laughs> it, it, exactly. Then I just started doing this for a living. I've been coming to Pittsburgh for nine years. It's a fun, it's a fun city. Uh, if anyone knows Kurt Angle, uh, please invite him to my shows. I would love to meet him. This is my shout out to you, Kurt. He's actually going to be at the World of Wheels car show on Saturday. I heard that, so I know he's in town. I mean, the man <laughs> won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. Look at me, Kurt. I look like a make a wish kid just come out and see me at the, and see me at the shows this weekend let's have a good time come on Kurt 
So how many shows are you doing? You're here until Sunday? Yeah, I got two shows tonight, uh, two shows on Saturday, which I believe are already sold out because wow. because when, when when a dwarf is in town telling jokes, that's just that that's it. That's the sell. <laughs> and then I'm doing one show on Sunday. So uh, yeah, you have three more opportunities to see me. Get your tickets, and we'll have a good time in the Berg this weekend. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yins, guys, buy some tickets. I don't even know what that means, but someone told me to say it. Okay, well, eat some more carbs while <laughs> yeah. you're there. If you, if you want to see Brad stand back in person, you can check out the shows at the Improv. The next one is tonight at 730. You can find the link at kdk.com slash PTL.